fight is over. Floyd Mayweather has a knockout victory. Is there any question that he is the best fighter in the world right now? He just cemented his legend. Not, not only is he the best fighter in the world, he's the most exciting player. fighter. Manny Pacquiao is an all-time great. The fight we've all been waiting for is nearly upon us. After years in the making, Floyd Money Mayweather and Manny Pac-Man Pacquiao face each other this weekend in the MGM Grand in Las Vegas. You're listening to the Beanbag Sports Podcast with Dara McGinley and myself, Dave O'Grady. We're delighted to have joining us to preview the fight, the undefeated WBA Super Bantamweight Champion, Scott Quigg. Scott, thanks a million for joining us on the Beanbag Sports Podcast. No, thanks for having me on. I appreciate that and it'll be good to talk about the fight. Scott, Manny Pacquiao taking on Mayweather, the big one, the fight the whole world have been waiting so long to see. No doubt you're looking forward to it. Yeah, as you say, it's the fight everybody's wanted to see for many years now when it's finally happening. And as uh, Mayweather said in one of the press conferences, I do believe the, the world will stop to watch this fight because it's the anticipation about the fight is absolutely massive and it's captured the not only boxing fans, it's the imagination of everybody and it's going to be, I really do think it'll be a belt on fight as well. Yeah, there's so much happening online across social media and there's people that haven't, not boxers, but general sports fans, they're all doing, you know, their own take on it, squaring up to each other and all, it's great to see. A lot of people are also saying that this fight, Scott, should have maybe happened four years ago, but if you listen to kind of what both camps are saying, it would appear that both these fighters, they're in the best shapes of their career. Yeah, I mean, it's, People were, they was maybe in the prime four or five years ago, but the the fight back then was only talked about being worth $100 million. It's now worth over $200 million. So in the business sense, the fight shouldn't have happened then, and it, it's happening now. But I do believe that, I do think they're both passed the best, but I think that's going to make it for a more interesting and a more competitive fight. I really do believe that this is the, the perfect timing from both to put it all on the line. Scott, these two fighters have had a speed advantage in arguably every fight they've gone into in their career. How do you think they're going to react this weekend when they face an equal or faster opponent? And will that be a deciding factor, do you think? Oh, the, the speed, both of them have got tremendous hand speed and Manny Pacquiao has obviously got the, the, the faster feet. But it, I don't think it'll come down to speed. I think it'll come down to timing. And that's one... They've both got... Um, quality timing as well as well as speed because that's what don't matter how quick you are you've got to you know be able to land it and that comes with timing of when to throw the shots and I think Mayweather has the edge in that department and I think that's what it could come down to you know, the, the ball's quick the ball fast Manny Pacquiao's got faster feet he's seen Floyd his, his footwork slowed over the years and but he's adapted his um, his fighting style to that and I do think that a slightly edge towards Mayweather because I really think the timing that he has is just a bit better than Manny Pacquiao. The Southpaw orthodox angle of the fight, could that make us one to remember from a counter-punching point of view? Yeah, I mean, Floyd struggled with Southpaws in the past, but what you've got to remember is he always finds a way and he, and he adapts. And early rounds, that's when he struggles with a Southpaw. Manny's a totally different Southpaw to any Southpaw he's faced. You know, he's going to come in at different angles, he punches harder. Um, obviously, He's going to come in with a, uh, a really, really, really good game plan, what Freddie Roach has come up with. So that's going to obviously throw more dimensions his way. So Floyd's got to come up with things to counteract that, but he always seems to find a way. Now, Shane Mosley hurt him early on, Zab Judah caught him early on. If Manny Pacquiao catches him and hurts him early on, can he take advantage of that? Because that's what many other, a couple of the other fighters that have managed to hurt him and stun him a bit. I've not been able to capitalise on because once Floyd gets sussies your rhythm out, gets your timing, he seems to you know find a way. Then so once if you can, if Manny can get him out and and hurt him and make it uncomfortable, he's got to be able to. Can he take that window opportunity to finish it? That's that's the thing that I really do think he will cause his best chance of beating Mayweather. I think he's going out there and doing a bit of a. Hagler Hearn sort of mentality where he's got to go out and, and give it, you know, really start fast, powerful and, and try and catch Mayweather and, and take him out. Because I think if Mayweather susses him and starts getting his rhythm, I think 
he's just going to be playing catch up now yeah it's an interesting one you mentioned there Scott about Mayweather's ability to adapt of course several boxing commentators they hold the view as you said the longer the fight goes the better chance Mayweather does have uh, of winning would you go along with that do you think that if uh, Mayweather can last the distance it will be a case that he'll simply win on points or do you think Pacquiao has the ability now to knock him out early yeah I do I, I, I think this is looking at you know, the clips that you see and the, the fighters at the minute and the mentality of them but you say they've passed the best and, and I think they have passed the best because you know it's father time and you, you're getting older and so your body can't respond but they both look in tremendous shape they both look um, you know I've not seen Manny Pacquiao's um, the vision in his eyes been like this since I say three or four years ago since then and, and it seems to be back and they've got that they both know that the, the careers not not necessarily more in uh, Mayweather's case it, it, he needs to win this fight otherwise you know the the, the best never the TB yeah. or the the bravado that, so, so that he's put on himself that takes a bit of a big hit whereas Manny Pacquiao he's, you know, he's been beat before but he comes back he, he's like the people's champion he's likeable so there's not as much pressure on him to win the fight and I think that could play a big part I mean, I, I, there was an interview with Mayweather the other day and he said, this is just another fight. And I hope he's dealing with it that way because the pressure is all on him. Manny Pacquiao, he, he, there was an interview, you know, don't box if you're scared of losing. You know, he, 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 there's no pressure whatsoever on him. He'll come to the ring smiling and he'll handle it. But with Mayweather, he's got a lot on the line, a lot to protect. But I do think if there's anyone that can handle that sort of pressure, it is him. You yourself, Scott, have an unbelievable unbeaten streak. And for Mayweather having this streak, does it give him confidence? The fact that he knows that Pacquiao has been knocked out in the past. I mean, that I think that video has been watched a, a lot over YouTube. You know, does that give Mayweather a boost of confidence? Or is it always dangerous to be going into these fights with un- a huge unbeaten streak? No, it obviously it gives him um, confidence, no. Uh, Manny Pacquiao has been knocked out and obviously Floyd believes he can win the fight otherwise he would not take this fight that's why he, he takes the, the, the Sal Alvarez fight when he wanted he makes fights when he knows it's the right time for him and that's what that's what he's done all through his career as in even business moves and stuff like that so he, he controls what he wants to do when he wants to do it so he knows he's confident but the way he's training he knows this isn't an easy fight He he knows he doesn't just have to turn up to win but he obviously believes that he turns up at his best and puts the work in, he'll beat him. And that's what he, he comes down to confidence. And, and obviously the way he's training is obviously a fear of losing though because he knows what's at stake. So if you're that confident, you you get up and, and you be, he'd probably be complacent in what he's doing. But obviously he's confident, he knows what he's got to do, but that fear of him getting beat, he knows what's at stake. So he, he, again, the bubble around him that's made him, you know, the best pound for pound for so many years. The, the potentially people talk about him being the best fighter ever. That bubble bursts if he was to get beat off Manny Pacquiao, and that fear is in the back of his mind. But that's what will drive him on, and that's what drives any top athlete on: the fear of failure. Not that he's scared of Manny Pacquiao, but the fear of failure, and that's what many top athletes will thrive on. And I think that's what he'll do. There's obviously such huge hype in the lead-up to the fight, and there's a lot of media commitments for both fighters now that they're both arrived in Vegas. What's the best way to handle that come fight week? You know, he's, you've got to, obviously, he's coming to close to the fight, and I think Manny Pacquiao will handle it better because he's, he's just more, he, again, he doesn't see, he doesn't, looking at him, it doesn't look like there's any pressure on him. He, he doesn't, he's not putting any pressure on himself. So, you know, I know myself being around when you're in big fights and the last thing sometimes you want to do is, is, is when you've done your interviews and then someone wants more more and, and you want to get off and you want to go you know, get your rest cause, and get your mind on the fight and prepare. You know, it can be a bit, you know, it's not the, it's things that you've got to do when you become at this level. But I do think they'll, at this stage now, they'll have it all, they know what they've got to do. They've, they've been it and done it that many times, you know, and the demand for the fight and what everybody wants to see, and, and people want to hear what they want to say this close up until the fight, and that's part and parcel of being where they are in elite-level fighters. 
because the public who are going to be paying for it want to hear the thoughts before the fight. You touched on it there, Scott, with there not being too much pressure on Pacquiao. Do you feel he has the mental edge coming into the bout? I, in one sense, yeah. And in one sense, no. I think the, the, he definitely got the uh, a mental edge in. He, there's no pressure in it and he'll be relaxed. And, and, I, and I think he'll settle into the fight a lot quicker. I think he'll be the one to find his range a bit quicker. And I think that's why I do believe that he'll come out and, he, and he'll... He'll go out like um, like an Aguilar Ernst, you know. He'll go out and it'll be he'll put that in that sort of intensity, trying to catch Mayweather early on. Because I do think Mayweather will come out and be a bit tight, be a bit tense early on, you know, because you, you can't make mistakes. And, and at, at this level, the, again, the pressure is on him. He's the one who's unbeaten. He's the one who claims to be the best ever. He's the one who, you know, puts this amount of pressure on, and, and he does thrive on it. But at this level and and this magnitude of of a fight, the one who stays relaxed will find the rhythm early on. And I do think Manny will find his rhythm earlier than Floyd. And he, if he can catch him, and he's got to go for it. I think that's his best chance. I think as soon as the the, the more the fight goes on, Floyd will grow into it. And once he, once he starts being relaxed and doing what he does best and dictating the pace and, you know, controlling what's happening, I think that's, again, when Manny's going to have to take more risks and then that'll be, he'll be open to more counters and stuff like that. So he's got to, he, he has got to go out fast and try and upset, keep Floyd on the back foot. You mentioned uh, how Manny Pacquiao over the past few months he's made himself so endearing to the public and you know even watching previous fights coming out with the smile on his face in the media coverage to this big fight he's been smiling all the time he's been singing songs on the Jimmy Kimmel show have you ever yeah. come across uh, a boxer as happy as Manny Pacquiao he just seems to love life I, again he, he, he's, he's very listen a, a fight of this magnitude to be this relaxed you know It'd be it'd be very good to be able to be that right because I'm telling you it's the pressure that's around this fight, but he's handling it so well and he's again he's in a very happy place in where he is. He be he, his training camp must have gone perfect because you can tell it's not an act. You know when people are trying to when people's training camps haven't gone well, you can you can sense it. This he, he's happy. He, you know he, he knows he's done everything and he's. He seems to have found his more drawback, as if you'd say, because mm. he, he to him he went a bit flat. Whereas now he, he's, you know, as you say, he's singing, dancing, he's having the. He knows he's done what he's had to do, and he knows he's in a very good place. Yeah, and that's why I think he, he'll come out so that when he makes his um, his entrance to the ring on Saturday in the big fight, listen, he'll be doing, he'll be smiling like a Cheshire cat. You know, he'll be loving it, and I think. That is a big advantage in his favour. Indeed, and to put it on the line, Scott, do you think the smiling Cheshire Cat can win it or will the champ prevail once again? You can't back against him because he's always found a way. But I do believe that it'll be a real... It'll, be, it'll swing both ways. As in, I think if, if I think Manny will be on top early on and I think he'll cause Floyd and, and he might even rock him and stun him. If he can't get him out of there, I do see Floyd getting into the fight and the winning on points. But he just once he gets his rhythm and such is your time, and you you play, you're on a real uphill battle. But if I had to put my money where my mouth, well, I'd say Floyd on points. And if you say who do I want to win, the, the person who wins, that's who I want to win because it, they both they, they both where they are, and whoever wins will obviously deserve to win. It's going to be a fantastic night on Saturday. We really can't wait. Floyd Mayweather taking on Manny Pacquiao. Just before we let you go, Scott, for yourself in your own career, you're unbeaten with an incredible record of 30 wins and two draws. 22 of those wins came from knockout. When you won the Super Bantamweight title, it was a long journey for you. And now you've successfully retained it, I think, in over five bouts. What has been more challenging, getting there or staying there? Definitely staying there. The, the 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 point is because I know when I was coming through and I wanted to become world champion, I knew how hard I was training and how much I wanted it. And you know, every day you wake up and anybody who now gets the chance to you know fight me and become a world champion, I know how hard they will be training. 
because everybody wants to become a world champion. So you've got to up your game and keep upping it because there's no easy fights at world level and it's that's what thrives me on. You know, it's the drive to know that someone is how hard I used to prepare, I prepare even harder now. You know, and, and it's about staying there. And now I've won it, you want to stay there and I want to retire undefeated. I want to fight the best in the division. I want to, you know, prove I'm the best in the division. And that's what I'm out to do. So my goals are always being set high. And every every time I achieve one, I set another one. And it's all about just keep going and, and, and aiming as high as you can. Indeed, well, there's talk of a champion there. Scott Quigg, thanks a million for joining us on the Beanbag Sports Podcast. We look forward to seeing you in the ring in the near future. And we hope that you enjoy the big fight on Saturday. Thank you very much. Same to you. Well, there you have it, Dara. Scott Quigg going for Floyd Money Mayweather on points. If he lasts the distance, this could be his fight. It's very hard to look past Money Mayweather when you're taking the opinion of the WBA Super Bantamweight champion, Scott Quigg. He's undefeated. He knows his stuff. Here at Beanbag Sports, we're agreeing with Scott's opinion. We've got Floyd Money Mayweather 11-4 to on to win. Manny Pacquiao, he's a bit further afield. He's 7-4 to to win the fight. As Scott said... He does think it's going to go the distance and we'd, we'd tend to agree with him on that. It's been an interesting lead up to the fight in terms of the media coverage. Now usually we see with a big boxing bout that one of the fighters is very charismatic and does a lot of talking and that. But in this case both of them are just so engaging, they're endearing, we want to know what they do next. Uh, I don't think we've had anything like it before. With Manny Pacquiao, he's not the trash talking style. That endears him to the public and he is the fans' favourite coming into this fight. Floyd Money Mayweather, he's so flash. He's taken photos with wads and wads of cash. You have Manny Pacquiao, who was the more diplomatic of the two fighters. He isn't as in your face. He doesn't trash talk as much. He's just going by his everyday business in the lead up to the fight, his media obligations. And the overall feeling that I'm getting from the public is that a lot of people would like Manny Pacquiao to win. But people are sensing that Floyd Mayweather is the man to beat and I would not disagree with that. And a lot of people, Dara, are also talking about the chance that one of these or maybe both of these fighters could retire after this fight. Particularly Floyd Mayweather, you know, that unbelievable unbeaten streak. And if he wins, this could be the last time we see him in the ring. Well, he is 38 years of age now. Has he got anything left to prove? The only question that was left to be asked of Floyd Mayweather was has he beaten Manny Pacquiao or has he even fought him and the answer up to this stage is no as far as I understand there's not a rematch clause in either fighter's contract so if Mayweather wins I think that'll be the end of him a lot of it depends on the outcome of the fight if it's a controversial decision if it's a split decision I think we'll see a rematch the two guys will not be able to turn down as Scott mentioned 200 million dollars If it's an emphatic knockout, I think that'll be the end of it. Nobody will be able to have any complaints, and that'll be it. So the retirement talk depends on how the fight ends, I feel. And if Pacquiao wins, he'll be going off to try and be president in the Philippines with a big smile on his face, no doubt. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> He'd have my vote anyway if I was Filipino. <laughs> Lovely stuff, Dara. Well, I'm afraid we're out of time here on the Beanbag Sports Podcast. Saturday night is the fight night. Manny Pacquiao taking on Floyd Money Mayweather. What's going to happen? Who knows? We'll see. Our thanks to WBA Super Bantamweight Champion Scott Quigg for joining us. From Dara McGinley and myself, Dave O'Grady, take care. Take care.